What's up you guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing more Lawn Mowing Simulator, so we're playing the full game. As you can see at the bottom there, we do have access to 5 out of the 31 locations and 2 out of the 12 vehicles that we can use. Um, we are in free mow mode today, so we're going to jump straight into this. And as you can see, there's 5 different locations available to start off with. We'll go with 54 Covel Street and get straight in there. We're also going to use this mower today, the night. And yeah, we'll jump straight into this one. We're going to use a cutting height of six centimeters. Uh, we won't have a time limit or ground check. We will have sunny weather. I do like the sun. And we will have all the different types of damage on, which are ground vehicle and motor damage. We'll also start with 100% fuel just to make it sort of nice and straightforward. We'll confirm that and jump straight in here, you guys. So I don't know whether you've had a chance to check out my review of this game yet, but I would. Um, recommend going ahead and do that if you haven't already if you want to if you're not already subscribed to the channel as well I would ask if you could please do that and hit the notification bell just to be sort of notified of any videos that I have that are published if you want to as well and um, if you enjoyed this video please do leave me a like and if you've played this game so far so that would be most likely in the preview or demo as they came out in the past and um, please do let me know um, what we're going to do is just jump straight into this one now. We're going to hit there, A to continue, and we'll now get on board. You would normally, at the start of a mission, need to do a ground check, but seeing as we've disabled that just for this free more version here, we'll get the engine started and just crack on straight away. We'll bring the throttle up to a decent idle there, and we'll get moving. And on this particular level, um, what we will do is just get the blade down and get cracking here straight away but before we do that we're going to set the cutting height to six centimeters we will then lower the cutting blade like that and then we'll press x to engage the blade like so wow this lawnmower creates quite a bit of dust doesn't it that's for sure okay let's take it up to this limit here and swing this thing back round and back across here there's a nice sort of wide cut to this one as well oh dear we just crashed there <laughs> That wasn't great driving. Um, but yeah, compared with the sort of um, the other starting lawnmower, which has a much narrower sort of blade to it, this is going to get the job done a bit quicker here. Although you do need to get used to that articulation sort of um, approach to things with this one, with it having the sort of rear, rear axle there being able to swing round, and that's how you sort of steer. So that's a little bit different. But yeah, I've been having a great time with this game so far. Um, as I say, if you haven't checked out the review, um, I'll cover some of the stuff that I discussed in that on here um, in this particular video as we play this together now. But, um, yeah, I'd, I've been enjoying this game. It's a video um, which does go into a lot more detail and will explain things. But I would like to say, um, you know, when I started off covering this game, I sort of did it with a bit of fun intention back when I did the preview back in April. Um, this game was originally on the Xbox Insider program, which didn't require any sort of specific um, special access to get hold of. It was more just like a case of you just need to download the app. It was one of the very first sort of Insider things that I did as well, because I'd only just downloaded the app and this, this, this game was available on there. And then the demo came out um, sometime during the E3 sort of coverage, around about that time. And it was basically the same as the preview that we played previously. Um, I, I personally believe they'd made a few changes to things like performance. Um, it seemed like the draw distance wasn't as good. Um, now, I could be wrong on that, and it could just be in my imagination, but that's what it felt like. Um, the frame rate as well didn't seem as good. Oh, we've missed a little bit there. I just spotted that. We'll see if we can reverse up here along this wall and get that bit before we go any further. Let's pull this thing in like that. And oh, get in this corner as well if we can stop. Oh, damn me. We're banging it off the wall there quite a bit, haven't we? That's not going to do our lawnmower any good. And certainly if we were in career mode there, you'd have to pay for those sort of damages because your lawnmower does get sort of um, damaged as you go along. And you would have to um, maintain it, in including the blades. 
so yeah you don't want to sort of do that if you can help it and also another thing that you don't want to do when you're cutting the grass is cut down any of the flowers because you do receive a penalty for that but like I said in the review this is a very sort of um, simple simulation game there's nothing more to it than what it says in the title lawn mowing simulator and what I will say is I really did hope for it to be a little bit more than that I really wanted it to have sort of a few more sort of um, more business sort of depth to it in terms of if you were cutting the grass like this you would be most likely offering a landscaping sort of business to be fair which would include all aspects of gardening you know sort of doing the edges um, um, trimming trimming the uh, flowers if required um, also weeding and things of that nature all sorts of things like that and really it is literally just cutting the grass that's that's what this game is all about you've got 12 different lawnmowers available um, as you go on you unlock those along with the various gardens that you can unlock as well some of the gardens are set in the same location but with you sort of um, like the castle for example has different lawns available that you can cut and you do get paid obviously separately and they are separate missions to do those different lawns um, but yeah I mean apart from that it is a really straightforward sort of game and that's why I think it might not appeal to everyone although you know if you're not looking for something in depth if you just want to sort of cut the grass and you find that relaxing then you could easily be sort of um, interested in this game I think and it is very satisfying I will say that it is kind of relaxing um, but there's not much to learn as well which is in my opinion a sort of negative um, something that I personally don't think boards in its favour for me in myself because I like to learn something when I'm playing and almost every simulation game that I can think of um, that I've played has some sort of learning to it now if you look at it in terms of Train Sim World 2 and even the likes of Farm Simulator and some of the trucking simulators as well there is always something to learn there if you look at games like PC Building Simulator and um, I'm trying to think of others that, that you know like Flight Simulator you've got to you can jump in and just sort of get straight involved but really if you're going to do landings and things like that you really need to know what you're doing with that game it's the same with nearly every simulator that I can think of you really need to have the sort of a learning mechanism you need at least a tutorial as where this game the tutorial is so simple and straightforward is literally a case of click here do this that's how you get started and get on with it and even the controls here I mean what am I doing I'm literally just holding down the RT um, um, sort of uh, trigger and that's it I'm just cracking on with it there's nothing more to it um, as long as I've got the blades lowered and I'm not going too fast then it is literally a case of just cracking on with it I mean you can get damage by going too fast you can overrun the engine by doing that but I mean literally there's not a great penalty to pay apart from a little bit of loss of money by doing that let's switch to an internal view here sort of first person view should I say and we'll do a little bit more but yeah I mean you're literally just going round and just running over the grass with the blades and that's that's what this game's all about exactly what it says on the tin and that's why in my opinion it does do its job I can't complain I mean there's no glitches there's no crashes so far I haven't had any issues with this game it hasn't you know done a crash and really peeved me off because I've lost a bunch of progress or you know it hasn't had a glitch where um, it's, it's made it impossible to, to play the game now actually having said that in the original preview I don't know whether you remember how that video ended but I did get stuck um, I ran out of fuel and I couldn't get my lawnmower back on the truck even though I'd completed the mission but that is literally the only um, that's the only glitch that I've come across and it was a funny one as well at the time but yeah I mean apart from that what I what I what I can't say about this game I can't say that I'm going to be sort of playing it a great deal um, because it is literally just the same thing over and over again 
and that is a uh, another negative I guess let's see if we can line this thing up a bit better than this I feel like I'm doing a bit of a poor job here probably because I'm talking oh we've run over the flowers we've run over the flowers that's not ideal we're gonna get um, now if we're in career mode we'd be getting nailed for that that's for sure but yeah I mean I've got so many games as well that I want to play at the moment I mean the uh, the Ascent is a game which I've had downloaded on pre-download for ages I just haven't got around to playing it because I'm doing that much sort of content for the channel at the moment and having a great time doing that to be fair but there is a bunch of games that I really want to play that I haven't got around to checking out yet um, a game which has been taking up a lot of my time is Flight Simulator and I've been having a fantastic time with that and playing that on um, console um, is just been like a breath of fresh air to be honest with you I'm really pleased with how it turned out I think there's a, a lot of credit due to the um, developer for, for getting the um, getting the console version right and it really is right I mean I really cannot complain at all when playing that game um, I'm just having a great time with it and I know there's quite a few people as well on Twitter that have been having a fantastic time with it um, I do want to say a big thanks to all the people that have subscribed to the channel especially since April when I really sort of started up this channel again after taking a break and I just think it's been fantastic and I thank you so much guys for your support for everybody that's subscribed for everybody that's uh, switched on the notification bell and for everyone that replies to my videos I really really do appreciate it for everybody that leaves a like it's been just wonderful to be able to um, make this content and to make these videos for you guys I feel like I'm just going over this very small patch here I've also got a couple of giveaways on the go at the moment there's two different ones so um, one of my most recent videos was for a game called Fishing Adventure from Ultimate Games and that's out on Friday the 13th of August I believe now if you want to win a code for that game I do have two codes available for Xbox and when I say it's out by the way it has been out for a while now on PC and Switch but it is due for release for Xbox soon so yeah if you want to win one of two codes which I have available for that game um, please do see the video there's a link in that in the description of that video which will take you to the exact tweet and if you take a look at that tweet that will tell you exactly how you how to enter the competition it's really really simple it's so simple um, you know I also have another um, giveaway available at the moment which is a pin tweet on my Twitter page at the moment which is for the game Tropico 6 and also Commandos 2 HD and um, both of those codes are available to one lucky winner and if you follow the instructions there once again it's very very straightforward to enter to win those codes right let's get ourselves cracking along this section now we're making a, a great great uh, progress here to be fair we're already halfway done um, I'm not too sure where our grass goes with this particular lawnmower let's have a look from the outside is it sort of spread out I would have thought that it went into that back box but um, there's no collection um, in terms of the actual screen at the moment there's no collection there's usually a, a small sort of waste waste bin in the bottom right hand corner if you are collecting grass as you go but with this lawnmower I don't think there is one so yeah at least that's one less thing to worry about we don't need to go and empty into the grass grass bins uh, grass bags which are available now that is one feature that was added um, after the preview and after the demo so they've added simply grass bags that you can empty your grass into as you cut it now that is literally the only feature that I've seen that they've added to this game since the original previews and I was a little bit disappointed with that to be honest with you I really thought that they, they could have added a lot more such as the um, they could have added the ability to be able to cut the edges for example with a with this trimmer and yeah you can't do any of that the business model is very simple it is literally just a case of owning your business you can sort of invest in a few sort of um, 
publicity ads and things of that nature which gives you extra X SP XP should I say but apart from that it is literally a case of just buying your lawnmower and going and getting cracking on with it and I'm not too sure about that in terms of longevity as I say it's not entirely the kind of game that I would be rushing to play night after night I'm having a great time now talking about it I'm having a good time playing it um, it's relaxing to play there's no sort of stress there's no there's not a great deal of skill involved you can't really go wrong I mean you are just literally going and cutting the grass um, but at the same time you know there's not a great deal of challenge now there is some there is a challenge mode available which I think could ramp up the challenge in terms of you have to cut the grass within a certain time limit you have to do certain style you have to do a certain style to it like um, where you have to do lines and things of that nature but in terms of the actual sort of um, the business the business end of it with the career mode it is very straightforward and simple and I'm not too sure if that will appeal to everybody as I say I guess it is up to you to make your own mind up if you like the look of the game I mean the graphics are pretty decent in my opinion but if you like the look of the game then it is worth jumping into I guess what I will say is I think it's interesting that it's not available for Xbox One it is literally just available for the series consoles and for the PC I'm not too sure whether that's because of the um, assets on hand in terms of the you know would the would the performance have been massively affected on the uh, previous gen console um, previous gen consoles to be fair if you take into consideration not only the Xbox One but also the S and X and one X one S and X I mean but yeah we've made a bit of a mess of the grass there look see how we've scuffed it that's not ideal but um, yeah it is only available on series consoles so I wonder whether there's some sort of um, major assets at play I mean the licensed um, the licensed lawnmowers obviously will play a part in that because they do need to be detailed and the detail does need to be accurate but I do wonder how the how the grass is modeled as well um, it doesn't seem to be sort of um, a pattern I can't see that it's it doesn't look like it's been a copy and paste job oh dear we've run over a bunch of flowers there that's not good right let's go and see which parts we haven't done but yeah if the grass is individually modeled if, if each blade of, of grass is modeled separately then that will certainly take up quite a lot in terms of um processing power all right let's get stuck in here we'll do get a nice line going across here to get us started and then we'll see how we get on go along here I think but yeah you can sort of choose your own way to be fair choose your own way to cut choose your own pattern choose to go around the edges first or go ahead and do some lines it's totally up to you especially in free mo look, especially in free more mode because you can just crack on with it just have a have a relaxing time if you want to this game's kind of it's been promoted as a sort of um, a little bit tongue in cheek and I quite like that right then guys what I'll do is I'll crack on and get this finished and then I'll come back towards the end of this cut and what I'll do is I'll pick it up from there okay then guys so we're right near the end of this particular cut as you can see we're on 99 percent we do want to get 99.5 and then i think we'll be done and let's roll over this bit here so we're on 99.4 i have damaged the ground quite a bit and it did tell me that there would be a penalty although as we're in free more mode i can't see how the well there won't be a penalty basically in this instance but there we are we're all finished what we'll do is just reverse here 
Um, oh, there's just a tiny bit left there. Would you leave it? There we go. All done. Right, what we'll do is we'll just put this thing into the back of the trailer. So we'll lift the blades. We will lift them as well, sorry. So we disengaged them and then we lifted them. And then we'll park on here like so. Like that. Let's move in up. Like this. And we'll pull forward like that. So that's us done with this one, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please do leave me a like if you did. And if you enjoyed this video, please do click on one of the videos that are going to come up on screen in just a moment. Thanks so much for coming through, guys. And I'll catch you again soon.